Um, I thought the attention device was okay. Uh, it develops a little bit of, you know, you could develop a little bit more interest with it. Uh, the goal and the preview are basically the same, and, and you, you've got a good setup for what the content's going to be. I think that the organizational method that you pick, though, is a little problematic. It seems like it's almost backwards. Uh, you, you start off by talking about the effects, both physical and psychological, then we go back to history, and then we talk about uh, the, its uses, and it seems like it would work much better if you went in a different order. Start with that historical background, what, where they originally uh, developed and what they were originally developed for, then give us some of the uses that, are, that, that you perceive as being legitimate, and then talk about the positive and negative consequences, both physical and psychological, uh, and I think it would make a little bit more sense uh, in developing the material that way. Uh, the transitions, though, I didn't have a big problem with them. I thought that uh, maybe uh, you rushed the one because of the visual, uh, and that's, that's a little bit problematic. But other than that, it was usually clear where you were going. Uh, for instance, it seems like uh, you get on that example about uh, the um, emotional turmoil that's created, and I, you're talking about... Uh, Chris Benoit killing his family and himself, and I'm going, okay, I, I'm going to assume that this is one of the psychological effects that's going on here. And it wasn't until right at the end that you made a vague reference to uh, the notion that this was connected to that. And I, I just think that that's one of those things that if you're going to use a dramatic story like that, it ought to follow after your explanation of what those kinds of psychological effects are and then show that that is, in fact, connected to it. It just seemed to mildly disconnected uh, at that point. Uh, the visuals are okay. Uh, you get a little joke there in at the end, uh, but I didn't think that uh, they added a lot of content to the speech. They're mostly just, like I said, signposts from one idea to the next. Um, I, I, I try not to compare uh, speeches too much, but I did see some good visuals in a speech about steroids the other day in class talking about uh, some of the long-term effects and some of the problems with maintaining, you know, your body uh, image, your, your body, some of the you know, losing muscle tone and that kind of thing, and I saw some pretty good illustrations. So there's stuff out there that I think you could have found that might have added a little bit more information. All right. Thank you.